Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today I'm going to share with you how you're able to set your own custom notification sounds on your Samsung Galaxy devices here in 2024. So if you're using Samsung One UI 6, One UI 6.1 or One UI 6.1.1, all of this will be the exact same. And I wanted to revisit this video just because I last shot this back in 2020, four years ago, and a lot of people are still watching the video, writing comments. So I wanted to give you an update for the latest Galaxy devices and the latest Samsung One UI. Now the main portion of this video today is to share with you how you can set up custom notification sounds but I'll also show you how you can set up custom ringtones as well as the sounds for when you either detach or insert your S Pen. So let's first take a look at ringtone just because this one is a little bit more easy to do, a little bit easier to add in your custom sounds. And even sometimes when you use applications from the Play Store, it'll just put it into the correct folder. But what I mean by this is that when you go inside of your sounds and vibrations, you tap on ringtone. You can see right up over here, I have my custom. So I put in Jelly Roll Save Me. But on the very top, you have this little plus button. So this makes it actually super simple to just grab any sound that you have that could be underneath your music folder. So any of these that is a part of your music folder, you can now add these into, you know, as a, a ringtone. So I'm gonna do this little recording. So I think this was just me, you know, stating test, test, mic one, two, this is a test. So here we go, I just added in my recording. And so now this right here is going to be my ringtone. It's just me speaking because you are able to use voice recordings as a ringtone as well. So now that you can see how easy it was to have any sound go into your ringtone option, now let's talk about notification sound because with notification sound, there is no plus button. There is no other way that you can really add anything in other than the steps that I'm about to give you. So as I mentioned from before, if you used applications from the Play Store, sometimes they do get put into this little category here, but I don't know exactly how you're grabbing your MP3s or your sound clips, or if you're doing voice recordings or whatever you're doing. Uh, for the sake of this video, I grabbed some of mine from Zedge just to make it very simple. But how you're able to get your customized sounds for notifications is let's say that you went inside of notification sounds, which is these that are much quicker sounds, something that's one second, five seconds, seven seconds. So this little Roadrunner beep right here, if you tap on this little download button, at least for this application, you have an option to actually set it from the application for set as notification or ringtone, but I wouldn't suggest doing this because if there's any updates between the applications or any fallbacks of updates of the phone or the app, you're gonna run into some issues. So back in the day, if you're using Zedge and you set a notification sound for let's say text messaging, maybe another notification sound for another application, when Zedge was not updated, but your phone was updated to a new Android version, you were running into issues and crashes of all of those applications that you set notifications or ringtones for. So what I would suggest is with any application, always download to media folder. And now it's just downloaded into my My Files folder. So this way I can just move this into notifications so I can have it as a notification sound. So now that you have grabbed, let's say a sound you would like to use for notifications, you just go inside of My Files. And then inside of My Files, you go to internal storage because anything you've downloaded is usually in here. So it could be inside of download, could be inside of Zedge. So for me, mine was actually downloaded into a notifications folder right here, because like I said from before, some applications does work and put it into the correct folder. So you can see here that it is now into my notifications. So let's say that you download something and it doesn't go inside of your notifications folder. So here we go. This is where this is the part of the old video that did so well. You go inside of your downloads, you find wherever those music you know, options were. So here's that Mario Brothers coin, the, the power up, the draft ringtone, the NFL sound. So for these ones, I'm just gonna copy them for the sake of this video. You are able to just move them if you only want one version on your phone, but you go to internal storage. As you scroll on down, this is where you find notifications. If you don't see the option for notifications, you can actually create a folder and call it notifications with the S and it will work. And I will state that if you are trying to find notifications folder before you create one, just look on the very top. And if you notice that you are underneath essentials, it might not actually show at all. It might not show notifications sitting there. 
So this is where you, you can switch it over into all. So it'll show all the folders and then you should hopefully find notifications. Again, if you don't create a new folder that is called the notifications. And once you tap there, you go to copy. So as long as you have a folder in your internal storage called notifications and you move all your sounds right here, they will all show up inside of your notifications page. So again, you go inside of your settings, you go to sounds and vibrations, notification sound, go to the top, and here's all the custom ones that we just added in. We have Hawk Tua, we got the Mario Brothers coin, we got Power Up, the NFL, another NFL, and Roadrunner Beep Beep. So this is how you're able to add them in as a notification sound. So I'm just gonna go with that one right there since this one's kind of trending. And now I'm gonna show you how you're able to set up a custom notification sound for your S Pen. So we already talked about ringtones, we talked about notification sounds, and now when we head over into changing it for the S Pen, all you'd have to do is when you go inside of your uh, Samsung folder, or at least you should create your Samsung folder with all your Samsung apps sitting inside of there, and this is where you go inside of the Galaxy Store, and inside the Galaxy Store, you download GoodLock. Now, GoodLock is region locked, so if you don't have the option for GoodLock, uh, it's just not available in your region, but GoodLock is just a whole module setup uh, or a whole application menu for all these different modules to fully customize your phone. So underneath the two different tabs on the bottom, underneath where it says makeup, you have the option for Pentastic. Now your Pentastic might be sitting down over here somewhere. This is just where you want to install it. So once you download and install Pentastic, once you open it up, this is where you can actually change how your, uh, your air command looks. You can also change the way that your pointer looks and way over here, you can put in a custom image if you would like. You have a little arrow or a heart you can use. Here is your sound, so you have your default and basic and all that good stuff, but way over here you have one for custom. And then from here you just choose, let's say, for the remove sound. And this is where you'd want to find where those original sound files are. Again, it's internal storage, and I have all of mine just sitting in Zedge, just to make it simple. And with this one, let's do the, uh, the coin. So this is what happens when it was to be removed, and then in terms of insert, Again, Zedge. So I'm gonna hit on power up, which for me, it kind of makes sense because if I slip my S Pen in, I want it to be like do 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 and do the little power up sound. So you hit on done and now you just hit on use. So now you have your remove sound and your insert sound. So what'll happen is when you place your S Pen inside your phone, you have that sound. And if I pull it out, I have that sound. And don't forget, you are able to create or make your own little voice recordings. And as you do some voice recordings, then you're able to add these ones into that notifications folder. So for example, you know, let's say that you did some little voice recordings. When you go inside of your, your My Files, as you scroll down for your internal storage, you'll be able to see the option right here for recordings. And with recordings, this is where you find voice recorder. And again, you press and hold on whatever you would like to use. You copy or move them into the notifications folder. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys. That is how you're able to fully customize with notification sounds on your Samsung phone for even the S Pen, all the way up to the simple ringtone, down to the most requested notification sounds, as long as you put it into your My Files notifications you know, folder. So right over here, internal storage, you go to notifications, even if you don't have it, Either make sure you select all or create notifications folder, put any sound in here and it'll show up in your settings and also how you're able to use voice recordings and move it over into notifications as well, which is just simply over here, recordings, voice recorder, select which ones you would like to move on over when you select them, copy or move them into the notifications folder. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.